Hello, ladies. Anyone there? <laughs> so we've got 11 waiting. Good show. Susan, Shelly, Gladys, Connie. Um, thought I saw Leanne or someone. Joanne. Hello, ladies. How are y'all doing this evening? I'm just fine and dandy here. <laughs> All over my sickness. My chest is fine. I'm breathing fine. Trying to get my laptop corner out of the screen there. Gladys says, I'm hungry. Well, I ate a little bit, just a tiny small bowl of my shrimp and sausage gumbo a few minutes ago, so I wouldn't get so hungry while I was doing my live. <coughs> What's new? <laughs> Not a whole lot. <laughs> I was late because I was fixing me a cup of coffee. I didn't want to get sleepy while I was doing my live. So I went ahead and got my coffee. I hope y'all got you a cup. <laughs> I've been busy out there planting today. I did a video on it. It'll be posted in the morning. Hi, vegan menu. How's vegan menu doing this evening? How's everybody doing this evening? <laughs> I'm doing great. I drink tea. Okay, Gladys. Well, we'll let you drink tea. You can drink tea. If I drink tea, that would just help me go to sleep. Here is my quote for today. After climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I find that true every day. I get something done and it feels like there's 10 other things coming up that I got to do. <coughs> and I'm going to have to put a cough drop in my mouth I can already see. I didn't wear a mask out there today because it was it's been so humid and wet feeling. I didn't think I needed a mask, but I probably did. And a few minutes ago, my phone rang just before I went live. And I got a uh, warning from the city. Um, oh, what do they call it? Um, It's weather alerts and stuff like that. But anyway, I got a warning that there was a severe thunderstorm in my area. And possible tornadoes. So if my live goes out, you'll know why. It's because the the thunderstorm hit. And it may have it may knock my power out. It may knock the internet out. I don't know. It's been gloomy and rainy looking all day. That's one reason I got out there bright and early this morning. I mean, it was still cloudy. It looked like doomsday. I got out there early so I could do the video on me planting my seeds. Because I wanted to upload it and get it posted in the morning. And I knew it was supposed to rain this afternoon. But so far, all it's done is kind of sprinkle a little bit. But like I said, they did call me. And they call on the phone and they give you a warning that there is a severe thunderstorm warning in this area. So. And you have to acknowledge whether you heard it or not. So, of course, I acknowledge that I did get the message. And there's April. Hello, April and T. Sharon. How are you ladies doing this evening? Sports and random. Hi. Hello. 
Brendan, how is everybody? But you know that quote of the day, it, that is so true. You climb a mountain and there's always more mountains to climb. You never get done. But that kind of keeps you motivated, keeps you, keeps you busy, you know. You don't get bored when there's always something to do. Brendan, hello, I'm praying for you. Okay, well, maybe we all need to pray for Brendan. Our tornado siren went off last night, but it was for the city. It was for the northwestern corner of the county. So the whole county got the alert. Okay, well. Yeah, I heard there was tornadoes and bad thunderstorms up around Kansas, that area. But we've got severe weather headed our way too today, tonight, and possibly tomorrow and the next day. <laughs> so we'll see. We need the rain, but we don't need really bad weather. I don't need a tornado either. <laughs> I don't want a tornado to come through and pick up my canopy again and trash it. I've got concrete uh, pillars down now at each corner to try to help hold it down. So hopefully it's not going anywhere. Oh, I've got plenty of water, plenty of food. My anonymous uh, giver has still been sending me. Every once, every once in a while, she sends uh, cases of water. She sends cat food for little buddy. She sends uh, bottles of that uh, citrus tea. She sends Gatorade. Um, now, every once in a while or every other week or so, she'll send a grocery order. So I've got plenty of food. I've got plenty of drink here at my house. And I've got gallons of water stored under the sink in the uh, spare bedroom, in the bathroom in there. You know, in case I need it to flush the commode or, you know, do something like that. Or maybe make a pot of coffee. <laughs> or wash my face. <laughs> and there's Shatika. Hey, Shatika. How is Shatika doing to this evening? Blessings to you as well, Shatika. Let me switch over here and get my live chat. I'm always forgetting to go to live chat instead of top chat. I don't want to miss anybody that comes into my live chat. <laughs> and you know what? I forgot to pick a prize for tonight. And I just yesterday got, I think it was Connie's. Prize got it, finally got it in the mail because I'd been sick for days. So I didn't go anywhere. I didn't make it to the post office. So I think it was yesterday I finally made it to the post office. And there's Linda Blaylock. Hello, Linda. How are you? Yeah, I've got something planted this year that I've never planted in my life before. Didn't know it existed. And that's mashed potato melons. I'm anxious to see how they grow. And I'm 
anxious to get the first one to see how to cook it <laughs> since I've never even seen one before except for the picture that was on the little envelope. Let the prize be brownies. <laughs> it's getting a little hot to send food in the mail. Well, thank you, Connie. Yeah, I'm feeling lots better. I'm breathing good. So, you know, it, it helps make you feel better when you can breathe. <laughs> I live in my best life. Hello. Living my best life at 60. And I've been missing Too Tall Rob. Where's What happened to Too Tall Rob? I've been watching a few of his videos and finally realized why he was hanging donuts. <laughs> He feeds the possum. That last video that I caught that was live, there was two great big possum. Or no, not possum, raccoons. There was two great big raccoons up on that railing, that banister, eating food that he put out in a dish. Well, thank you, Gladys. Yeah, I left him a comment and I said, well, thank goodness, Rob. I said, finally, I see why you're hanging donuts. <laughs> you're feeding your raccoons. <laughs> Send a mix with instructions on how to make and what wet ingredients to add. <laughs> yeah, that's an idea, T. Sharon. Yeah, Rob, if you're watching, come on in. <laughs> he might be busy feeding his raccoons right now. Yes, I have, Susan. Cream spinach is pretty good. That it's in a can. Well, I didn't eat mine in a can. I fixed it from fresh spinach. Cream peas. I don't know if I've eaten cream peas before. But that jambalaya or gumbo that I made, it's really good. A lot of people get backed off from it, but when I put Creole, um shrimp and sausage gumbo because they think it's real hot and spicy but it's not really it's not even though i put a little bit of that hot sauce in there it's not hot at all it's barely even warm heat wise you can't even tell there's a hot sauce in it it just gave it a little bit of flavor that's it and the spices that i use are not real what you would call spicy spice it's basically thyme, um, I think bay leaves, parsley, garlic, onion, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, that type of thing. So go back and watch the video and, and really listen to the ingredients and you'll see that it's not real spicy, spicy to where people would not want to eat it because it's really good. I eat too much of it. <laughs> yeah, that that shrimp and sausage gumbo is really good. It's not spicy hot or nothing like that. Because I don't like it real spicy hot. I won't eat it.
thought, well, if I can get hold of it, oh. I had seven of 10 grands today and let them make pizza for scratch today. Kitchen will wait till tomorrow. I bet that was fun. Oh, you don't like shrimp, Gladys. Well, you don't have to put shrimp in it. You can just put sausage in it. You can even put chicken instead of shrimp. A lot of people make uh, their gumbo with uh, chicken. Just cut up chicken in it. That's good. I, for one, love shrimp. I could eat my weight in shrimp. I love just about any kind of seafood out there except octopus. <laughs> and I tried to eat that, and it was like tr trying to chew a inner tube. And I said, no way, uh-uh, this is not for me. Well, you'll love gumbo if you love shrimp. I mean, you can add shrimp, chicken, sausage, any kind of seafood you want, basically to a gumbo. Yeah, chicken and sausage jambalaya is good, which is not too. The jambalaya, I think, is a little bit more spicy than the gumbo, really. Because you put stuff like paprika, you know, stuff like that in the gumbo. Whereas a lot of people put the hot, spicy stuff in jambalaya. And I think I did a video on jambalaya here a while back. Oh, that sounds good, T. Sharon. Cheese, pepperoni, and taco. <laughs> Well, you can devein them, Gladys. And there's Cindy Sandu. Hello, Cindy. How are you? I'm fine. Glad you could make it to chat. But you forgot the pineapple. <laughs> I don't care for pizza with pineapple. I love pineapple, though. But I like my meat lover's pizza or my pepperoni pizza. Those are my two favorites. The smaller the shrimp, the less of that there is, Gladys. If you get the great big ones, then you definitely want to degrain them, uh, devein them because they have sand in that track. So it, it's kind of gritty when you chew it. <laughs> I've eaten it before. I don't like it, so usually I'll devein the big ones. Yeah, I know there's a wine pizza, but I, I never really... I don't know. If I ate it, I'd probably like it, but I don't go out of my way to get a Hawaiian pizza. If I order one, it's going to be pepperoni or meat lovers, something like that. Usually, I just make mine at home. 
T. Sharon says she doesn't eat any kind of seafood. I'll see. I was practically raised on fish and seafood. Fish, seafood, fresh vegetables, homegrown everything, homemade sausages, hams. Because I was, I live right on the east coast, close to any of the beaches. So we had plenty of fresh seafood. You go fishing in in just freshwater ponds or rivers. You like coconut shrimp? Yeah, they're pretty good. You know, I've never tried that, April, but I bet it's really good. The barbecue fruit, like peaches and pineapple. Yeah, not all food comes from the freezer or the store or from a drive through window, right? <laughs> Sometimes you have to fix it from scratch. Yeah, I love shrimp and scallops. Like I said, I love any seafood. Except octopus. I don't want to mess with that. Because I don't care how you cook it. It's still chewy. It's like chewing rubber. I know usually all the fruit I love. Barbecue fruit with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> now you're going to make me hungry for all that. Yeah, you, you must live right on the coast then. Because where I'm from in North Carolina was right on the coastline. And we had all the fresh oysters, shrimp, fish, anything out there you wanted. Clams, crabs. Yep, shrimp fried rice is real good. Alaska, okay, yeah. I bet you have all that kind of seafood where you're at if you're in Alaska, Cindy. Like I said, when we lived in North Carolina before we moved to Texas, I didn't live in my hometown. I lived about a mile, an hour away. And it was right on the coast on Oak Island. And my ex-husband, he who was my husband at the time, he'd go shrimping sometimes on the weekend with some of his friends. You know, they'd drag a net through the canal and catch all kind of shrimp. Or we could walk down to the point of the island and there was a bridge you could walk across and drop your net and catch crab in that net. Uh, we had a 50-foot gill net that we kept out in the ocean 24-7. We pulled it in every 12 hours and it was always loaded with fish, crab, flounder, all kind of seafood. I miss that stuff out here. <laughs> Of course, I, I can go catch me a catfish once in a while, and I need to go. It's been a while since I've been fishing. Well, I never thought about pressure cooking it, Connie. But, you know, the only octopus I've ever eaten was in the restaurants. And it was fried pretty. It looked good, but you, you bit into it. You couldn't bite through it. You put it in your mouth to chew it. It was like chewing a rubber band. You couldn't chew it. Finally, I took it out of my mouth and laid it back on my plate. I told my son-in-law, I said, I'm sorry. I can't handle this. That restaurant's no longer open either. <laughs> yeah, I love clams. We used to go clam digging at the end of the island. When the tide was out, you could go down there and dig clams. So we had all the seafood that you would want. We had coolers full of spots, the little fish that we'd catch, you know, to, to cook in the net. And my ex would salt them down in five-gallon buckets because you could preserve them in salt. The rest of them we'd put in the freezer. 
A lot of times he was giving them away because we had so many fish, we didn't know what to do with them all. We'd have fish fries on the beach and all of our neighbors would be there to eat fried fish and hush puppies and whatever we had going, you know. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Calamare is squid. Yeah, I know. And I don't care too much for calamari. I mean, I can eat it, but it's that again is not cooked enough for me to where you can chew it up. And if I can't chew it up, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, octopus is scary looking. Yeah, I've heard of a lot of people that just rave about calamari. I guess if it was fixed right and, and cooked to where you could chew it up and it wasn't real tough, then it would be all right. I'd like it then. I guess it just depends on what restaurant you get it at. I've only seen the calamari in strips and it was fried like fried shrimp or something but uh, again it was a lot of times it was too chewy you couldn't chew it up good and that's the only thing i didn't like about it oh yeah blue alaskan crab is good but oh my god who can afford to buy it i can't <laughs> I stay right here at my house, Linda Belaylock. We have a tornado warning. I stay right here. And in the years past so far, it's, it's went all around me. It came through my yard, and that's what took out, you know, those two trees that you see in my videos right at the rock garden at the corner of the house that I had a birdhouse on top because it was cut off. It took the big limbs off of those trees. That's why the stumps are up there. And the guy cut the limbs off and left the stumps. And he said, well, you might want to put a birdhouse or something up there. Well, I did, but I found it on the ground yesterday. Where that hard gust of wind come through here, I don't know, day before yesterday or the other night. And it whipped my birdhouse right off the pole up there. So I'm going to have to fix it back up there. I had it wired up there on a platform. So hopefully I can get it wired back up. I might do that tomorrow if it's not raining. And I got to get my other bedroom floor done. See, I've got so many things on my list to do. <laughs> I don't know which direction to go in first. <laughs> I know crab legs are so good. And I love lobster, but who can afford to buy lobster? I know there's no need in running because you may run right in the direction it's going. Best thing to do is stay put. The lowest place that you can get is the best. And that tornado come through the corner of my yard and whip the limbs off of the tree. And I didn't even realize we had a tornado through here. And that was the year it pulled the steeple off the top of the church out here and just set it on the ground. Didn't tear it up. Just sucked it right out of the roof and set it on the ground. They had to get a crane out there to put the steeple back up on the church. And I mean, that's what pulled my, my canopy frame. It drug it back about eight feet and then flipped it over. And it, it was tied down to um, big rocks, boulder rocks, <laughs> and they were plenty heavy. So it had to be a strong gust of wind that pulled that thing or maybe a small tornado. I don't know. Well, the closest one, it came down the street at the intersection at the end of my street. And I'm only halfway down the block. And it sucked a tree out of the corner of the lot. 
turned and went away from my house down the street, crossed one of the lots, picked a mobile home up, moved it back about four or five feet and set it back down. Then it skipped over to the next subdivision. And a lady was over there and she said, I was standing in my kitchen. And she said, all of a sudden, it sounded like a freight train headed my way. Next thing I know, I looked up. My skylight had, was, had been just sucked right out of the roof of my house. And then it just kept going. She never saw the skylight of her, in her roof again. She had to replace it. She was lucky it didn't suck her out with it. Yeah, wind and tornadoes can do a lot of damage. That's the reason I say these storm chasers are crazy. I mean, they literally get out there and chase tornadoes, get right in the path of them. And it'd be my luck. I'd try to get away from it. And it'd come right in, in my direction that I'm running away from it. Linda, what is stronger than sun or the wind? Well, I don't know, Gladys. This could be a lot of things stronger, I guess. Good Lord above is stronger. <laughs> for sure. I mean, water is no fun either when you get a flood. The sun is strong. But I'm up on this hill and we don't get flooded up here. I mean, the water might, if it's raining real hard, it might stand in the yard while it's raining. But five minutes after it stops raining, the water's gone. I haven't seen her in chat. Uh, she sent me a, a message wanting everybody to pray for her because she was supposed to have surgery, I think, yesterday. And I had sent Connie a message and I told her that everybody had been asking about her um, and that we'd be praying for her. I haven't heard from her since uh, the surgery, though. Yeah, she was supposed to have surgery yesterday. It is hot in here, y'all. It's 75 outside, but it's warmer inside than it is out. Oh, you said he's leaving us. Well, have a good night. I'm glad you came in and said hello. Rain's beating on your roof, Shelly. <laughs> It always makes me sleepy when I hear rain hitting the roof because I'm so used to hearing the rain in North Carolina. It always would put me to sleep. It was relaxing to hear it. I love hearing the rain hit my roof. As long as it's not bad gusty winds and tornadoes with it. Yep, Annie, if you're watching or do see this, we're, you're in our prayers. And like I said, I told her in the message that I sent her that everybody had been asking about her and praying for her.
Shelly wait, let's put it. Well, I got to go get a prize. Hold on a minute. I had to go back there and dig it out of my jewelry box. Because there's our, there is our prize for this evening. I don't know if you can see that. That's one of my rings right there that I'm giving away tonight. So y'all need to stay and if you want a chance to win the ring. And that's not one that was sent to me. That's That was one out of my personal jewelry box. And it is a size eight. Okay, let's see. Name two boomer dances. There's three of them, but you only have to name two of them. Name two boomer dances. Shelly says my size. <laughs> Job is not one of them. No, not Cotton Eye Joe. And believe it or not, it's not the twist. Foxtrot waltz, no. These are boomer dances. Think about the time frame. Nope, not the mashed potato. Nope, not slow dancing. Not the Charleston or the waltz. That's way back. <laughs> Come on, guys. You, <laughs> it's newer than that. The bump is one. I'll give T. Sharon a point for that. It was only one, but.
Sharon had already said the bump, Shelly, so sorry. <laughs> Nope, not to jive. Nope, not to stroll. Come on, there's two more. <laughs> I don't know if you're what you're meaning, Shelly, with the huzzy. But it's the hustle. Is that what you're saying? The hustle is one. I'll give Shelly a point for that. Dirty dancing is not. <laughs> Hi, Nancy McCoy. Hello. And Melissa. Not break dancing. And there's Melissa Fron. Hello. Not the grind. They've got five different dances listed here. And Shelly and Sharon are the only two that's even mentioned. Nope, not disco, not line dancing. I'm sweating, y'all. That's the reason I'm wiping my face. I refuse to turn the AC on in March. Not the freeze. You're lost on the dance, <laughs> Nancy. Sorry. Rub dancing. No. That would kind of. <laughs> what is rub dancing, Gladys? That's kind of like dirty dancing, right? The hustle was already mentioned. The hustle is one of them. Nope, not grinding. And there's Miss Weaver. Hello, glad to have you. Hump dancing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see. See, Sharon's already said the bump. And then Shelly said the hustle. So that's two of them. Nope, not moonwalking and not electric slide. What other dances were popular when the hustle and the bump? Not moonwalk. <laughs> not the jerk. Not the shag. What was the one that had those uh, guys that were singing? Each one was dressed like a different character. Remember them? That's a big hint right there. One was the Indian. One was a... Uh, 
carpenter, YMCA, Melissa Fran, <laughs> or Fran. <laughs> Way to go, Melissa. There's still one more that y'all haven't guessed. Not the twist or mashed potato. Melissa already said YMCA. That's the village people. Nope, not choreographed dancing. <laughs> Susan said, first I was at the thrift store and the man came up to find his wife and he asked, have you found your lazy Susan yet? And I said, they don't talk about me like that. <laughs> the jerk grease dancing. He apologized and I laughed. Not the two step, not the jerk, not grease dancing. <laughs> the funky chicken Connie woohoo Connie Connie got that one okay next question what is a handle in radio speak Then we were at the nat natural store to live to check out and the little girl kept looking at me and we were talking about it. And just said, maybe she thinks you're beautiful and I laughed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's basically your nickname. So Shelly came up first with names, so I'm going to give it to her. Point for Shelly. <laughs> what year did the Cold War end? What year did the Cold War end? Not 2000, not 1946. Not 1985. I couldn't figure out what was taking you so long. It hasn't. <laughs> yeah, well, it was supposed to have stopped. <laughs> Not in 83 and not 1982. Nobody's got it right yet. 1990, no, but close. Not 1989. Y'all all around it. Ninety one, Melissa Fran got it. Fran, not quite sure how she pronounces her last name. <laughs> Whatever date they dropped the bomb, yeah, you're right about that, Susan. What is a beatnik? What do you consider a beatnik to be? I've never heard of it, Brendan. <coughs> yep, a hippie, Shelly. Give Shelly the point.
True or false? The Vatican investigated Shirley Temple to see if she was a dwarf. The Vatican investigated Shirley Temple to see if she was a dwarf. True or false? Shelly got it. It's true. Way to go, Shelly. Who were the Fab Four? Who were the Fab Four? <laughs> and there's Kathy 2010. Hello. Beatles T. Sharon. Way to go, Sharon. If you told someone to take a chill pill, what are you telling them to do? Hi, Kathy. <laughs> I did too. Calm down, Melissa. Point for Melissa. That means to calm down. Which musician or group did not play at Woodstock? A, Beatles, B, The Who, C, Jimi Hendrix. Which musician or group did not play at Woodstock? A, The Beatles. Uh, Melissa Fryan got it again. It was The Beatles. Way to go, Melissa. Where's Gladys? She's the one that wanted to play this. <laughs> For a while, women were not allowed to show their what on TV. A, shoulders. B, belly button. C, knees. Which were women not allowed to show on TV? I didn't mention legs. I said shoulders, belly button, or knees. Belly button. I'm going to give it to Kathy because she, no, wait a minute. Some. It was Melissa said belly button. Everybody else said midsection, legs, butt. Everything but what you needed to say. But Melissa got it. Yay, Melissa. I mean, if y'all are hinting around the, the, the answer and someone else comes up and just plainly states the answer, I've got to get it, give it to the one that plainly states that answer, not the one that's like all around the bush about it. It was the belly button is what they could not show on TV. <laughs> what 1980s horror flick has the line, run to the light, Carol Ann? What 1980s horror flick has the line, run to the light, Carol Ann. What movie was that in? What horror movie? Poltergeist, Craig. Craig M., way to go. Well, welcome, Craig. <laughs> I hadn't seen you before. Who was the New York Jets quarterback that wore pantyhose in a TV commercial? Who was the New York Jets quarterback that wore pantyhose in a TV commercial?
Namath, Craig got it again. Way to go, Craig. It was Joe Namath. True or false? Perry Mason, a TV character, was a criminal prosecutor. True or false? Perry Mason, a TV character, was a criminal prosecutor. T. Sharon, it's false. They trick you up on that. He was a criminal defense attorney. See, he was an attorney or, you know, a lawyer, but he was not the criminal prosecutor. He was the defense attorney. <laughs> so that's where they tricked you up on that one. What does it mean to dig something? Oh, no, they have a tornado on the ground in Covington, Ohio. Well, I hope people are OK. What does it mean to dig something? Oh, let's see the first one that says like it was T. Sharon. Way to go, Sharon. It's to like something. Okay, you got to fill in the blank to this one. The very last word. Earth, wind, and what? Fill in the blank. Earth, wind, and blank. Fire, Melissa Fron got it. Yeah, way to go, Melissa. Simon and Garfunkel's Ionic album is called Bridge Over What? Simon and Garfunkel's Ionic iconic album is called bridge over bridge over what trouble waters and shelly got it way to go shelly y'all are fast <laughs> they're fighting to get the ring they're fighting to get this ring right here. I guess you can see it. I don't know. To psych someone means what? To psych someone means what? No, you're not done. You wanted to play this old school. To trick, to fool them, freak out. It's to fool them, T. Sharon. Way to go, Sharon. What are the slang words, bear, smoky, or the fuzz? used for what are the slang words bear smoky or the fuzz used for and there's pat potter kathy got it it's it's police cop same thing so kathy 2010 True or false? Elvis Presley was a twin. 
True or false? Elvis Presley was a twin. Shelly got it true. Gladys, you come in fourth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was Tony Nelson's job in I Dream of Jeannie? A, astronaut. B, general. C, engineer. What was Tony Nelson's job in I Dream of Jeannie? Shelly Edwards got it, astronaut. Boy, Shelly, you're on fire. Your pad's not working, Gladys. Oh, sorry. True or false? Patsy Klein died in a plane crash. True or false? Patsy Klein died in a plane crash. And there's pause in the garden. Hello. Shelly got it again. It's true. How were the members of the Carpenters related? A, husband and wife. B, brother and sister. C, cousins. How were the members of the Carpenters related? Shelly got it again, brother and sister. Way to go, Shelly. There's no stopping her tonight. hot who hosted American Bandstand who hosted American Bandstand I used to love to watch that show Dick who Well, I'm going to give it to Shelly and Gladys because Gladys got the whole name. Shelly just got the first name. So Gladys and Shelly. Woo, I, drinking hot coffee is not helping. <laughs> What was J.J. Walker's catchphrase in the sitcom Good Times? What was J.J. Walker's catchphrase in the sitcom Good Times? What was he famous for saying? Yeah, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Kathy 2010, Dynamite. Way to go, Kathy. My battery died on the laptop, so I'm on the phone now. <laughs> oh, no. Who hosted Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? It's 72 here. Pat Potter, hello. Who hosted Life, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? Robin Leach, Kathy 2010. Way to go, Kathy. Am I going too fast for y'all? <laughs> How's Pat doing this evening? 
I know I'm hot. <laughs> and like I said, it's hot in here and drinking coffee, hot coffee's not helping. It's supposed to cool y'all, but it's just making me hotter. Who was the original leader of the Rat Pack? Remember, we had a big discussion on this one way back when we asked it one time before. Oh, wow. Arkansas is having a big tornado right now. Headed toward Little Rock. Wow. Might be headed this way. Well, I'm glad you do, Pat. I'm glad you came in. Not Dean Martin. Who was the original leader of the Rat Pack? Not Sinatra. Remember, we it was somebody that we just didn't think should have been the leader, but he was. Not Frank. Nope. It's in a very large housing. Oh, wow, Susan. I hope nobody gets hurt. Yeah, I hope nobody gets put out of their house tonight because of the tornado. Yeah, I saw that too. And it looked like it was headed this way. <laughs> I think that's what's bringing our bad weather toward us. Not Sammy Davis. <laughs> Who was the original leader of the Rat Pack? I thought we had so much discussion on this. Y'all would be sure to remember who it was. But nobody seems to remember. Mm. Not Joey Bishop. Not Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart, Connie, way to go, Connie. Sorry, Gladys. She's having times with her pad. Who were Ricky and Lucy's best friends and landlords? And you learn something new, Craig. <laughs> Who were Ricky and Lucy's best friends and landlords? Fred and Ethel. That goes to Melissa. Way to go, Melissa. <laughs> Let's see if y'all remember this one. Fill in the blank. Weevils wobble, but they what? Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Shelly Edwards. Way to go, Shelly. I hope you all know Shelly's ahead right now. Watch the first TV sitcom Boomers grew up watching. A, I Love Lucy. B, The Honeymooners. C, Love Boat. Watch the first TV sitcom Boomers grew up watching. A, I Love Lucy. The Honeymooners. C, The Love Boat. Gladys got it. It's A. Way to go, Gladys. It's I Love Lucy for sure.
How many boomers are turning 65 every day in the United States? A, 10,000, B, 15,000, or C, 20,000? Gladys got it again. It's 10,000. It was A. Way to go, Gladys. What band recorded good vibrations and fun, fun, fun? What band recorded good vibrations and fun, fun, fun? What was the name of the band? Beach Boys, Shelly Edwards got it. What band recorded Every Breath You Take and Roxanne? What band recorded Every Breath You Take and Roxanne? Paws in the garden got it. It was the police. Way to go, Paws. Which 70s rock musical featured the character Dr. Frank in Furter, F-U-R-T-E-R? -E Which 70s rock musical featured the character Dr. Frank in Furter? Not hair. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Sharon, T. Sharon. Y'all are remembering some of these. <laughs> Who was the nurse in charge on the show? MASH, M-A-S-H. Who was the nurse in charge on the show? Mash. M A S H. She went by her name and a, a nickname. Hot Lips. Melissa Fran got it. Way to go, Melissa. They called her Hot Lips. Okay, what year was the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster? What year was the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster? I remember it happening, but I couldn't have told you what year it was. No one's got it yet. Some of you have come pretty close, but. Nope, not yet. Not 88. 1986, Melissa. Way to go, Melissa. It was 1986. What song was played when TV Channel signed off at the end of the day? What song was played when TV Channel signed off at the end of the day?
Shelly Edwards. Way to go, Shelly. And I got all these with pictures, but they don't show up good on the camera. So I'm not, I'm going to skip over them. Dick Clark is known for hosting what New Year's special? Dick Clark was known for hosting what New Year's special? Well, I'll give it for, let's see, Shelly got a point for Star Spangled Banner. I'll give T. Sharon a point for National Anthem. Because I thought it was one of the, one of both of them. <laughs> Rockin' Eve, T. Sharon. He hosted the, uh, New Year's Rockin' Eve show. What rock and roll legend, legend's full name is Richard Wayne Henneman. Little buddy's fine. He come in and got him a snack. He went back out a few minutes ago, just before I went live. He's in all my videos. If y'all watch my videos, you see little buddy. What rock and roll legend's full name is Richard Wayne Pennyman. What is his stage name, y'all? Not Eminem. Not Eminem. Little Richard, Craig M. got it. Way to go, Craig. You saw a little buddy this morning. <laughs> Did you see him in one of my videos where he just come over there when I was sitting down catching my breath and he just cr crawled up in my lap and wanted to go to sleep? He just thought I was supposed to sit there and hold him and let him go to sleep. But I had to get up and get busy. I held him for a little while. Yeah, way to go, Craig. It was little Richard. Let's face it. The stage name sounds a lot better than his full name. Well, he's in all the videos just about. I think every one of the videos that I make outside, he's in it. What 70s band sang Hotel California? What, Cal what 70s band sang Hotel California? I don't know. He's been around here for about three years. I don't know how old he is, actually. Eagle Shelly Edwards got it. Way to go, Shelly. What band did Paul McCartney start in 1971 after the Beatles broke up? What band did Paul McCartney start? In 1971, after the Beatles broke up. Wings, Shelly Edwards. And Shelly Edwards is killing it tonight. What musical group recorded the song Papa Was a Rolling Stone? What musical group recorded the song Papa was a rolling stone. T. 
Temptation, Shelly Edwards. Wow. <laughs> You're moving on, Shelly. In 1984, Michael Jackson and other popular artists recorded what song to raise money for Africa? In 1981, Michael Jackson and other popular artists recorded what song to raise money for Africa? We are the world. Shelly got it again. What band recorded the power of love and back in time? What band recorded the power of love and back in time? <laughs> Craig says I should have paid more attention in typing class. What band recorded the power of love and back in time? You, Connie Jones got it. Way to go, Connie. It was Yui Lewis and the News. What oldie song did Marty McFly sing at the dance in Back to the Future? What oldie song did Marty McFly sing at the dance in Back to the Future? <laughs> no, you're not, Gladys. What oldie song did Marty McFly sing at the dance in Back to the Future? Not old time rock and roll. Something similar. Johnny be good. Connie got that one. Way to go, Connie. He sang Johnny be good. The first Earth Day was thanks to the boomer generation in what year? A, 1965, B, 1970, C, 1975. The first Earth Day was thanks to the boomer generation 
in what year? A, 1965. B, 1970. C, 1975. Shelly got it. It was 1970. B was the answer. Shelly got it. Way to go, Shelly. Everybody said A or C. <laughs> And then 1975 was Shelley. Prior to the internet, what was the go-to book almost everyone used for homework? Prior to the internet, what was the go-to book almost everyone used for the, their homework? Encyclopedia. Shelly got it again. Way to go, Shelly. Whoop, whoop, Shelly. <laughs> it was the encyclopedia. What movie is the phrase sweet from the leg? What movie is the phrase sweet from the leg from? Y'all remember watching that movie? I saw it many times. Karate Kid, Craig M. got it. Way to go, Craig. <laughs> Kiss my butt. I can't reach you, Gladys. <laughs> You're too far. I can blow you a kiss. Catch it. <laughs> what percentage of boomers have saved absolutely nothing for retirement? A, 20%. B, 35%. C, 45%. What percentage of boomers have saved absolutely nothing for retirement? Not A. Where's the dancing men? <laughs> Shelly Edwards got it at sea. Way to go, Shelly. Okay, one more minute. And we're going to end this because we've been playing for a, a pretty good while. What band stole the show at the Live Aid Benefit Concert in 1985? What band stole the show at the Live Aid Benefit Concert in 1985? Queen, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. What band recorded Sweet Emotion and the same old song and dance? What band recorded Sweet Emotion and the same old song and dance?
Aerosmith, Shelly Edwards. Man, Shelly's going to be winning hands down tonight. Mr. T played B.A. Bar Baracus in what 80s military TV show? Mr. T played B.A. Baracus in what 80s military TV show? A team, T Sharon got it. Way to go, T Sharon. What state has the highest percentage of boomers? A, Florida, B, California, C, Maine. What state has the highest percentage of boomers? A, Florida, B, California, C, Maine. Nobody got it yet. It's not California. It's not California, y'all. Shelly Edwards at sea, Maine. Way to go, Shelly. What musician is responsible for the 1980s hits Footloose and Danger Zone? What musician is responsible for the 1980s hits Footloose and Danger Zone? Loggins, T. Sharon. Way to go, Sharon. What 80s sitcom starred Tom Hanks? What 80s sitcom starred Tom Hanks? Oh, Don't y'all forget the thumbs up. I guess I got my internet fixed. Bosom Buddies, Craig M. Got it. Yay, Craig. booked buddies <laughs> what was the average age of marriage in 1970 a 22 b 24 c 26 what was the average age of marriage in 1970 Shelly, wait a minute, T. Sharon got it. It's A. Way to go. What is that, y'all? Can somebody tell me what that is? I don't know if it's coming through clear. It's not a cross. Not a crucifix. <laughs> it's a pogo stick. Shelly got it. Way to go, Shelly. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to show them, but I thought that would come through clear enough. 
Y'all getting tired of playing or not? You want to keep going? Three M Spencer Silver accidental discovery that led to what product in 1978? I want to get a hula hoop. <laughs> 3M Spencer Silver accidentally accidental discovery that led to what in 1978? Sticky notes. T sharing. It was sticky notes. What popular hospital series did George Clooney star in before Grey's Anatomy? What popular hospital series did George Clooney star in before Grey's Anatomy? E.R. T. Sharon. Way to go. Whoop, whoop, T. Sharon. <laughs> Is Jennifer Aniston a boomer? Is Jennifer Aniston a boomer? No, T. Sharon. <laughs> Way to go, Sharon. Who starred in the Three Amigos? There was three men. Who were they? Who starred in the Three Amigos? Not Billy Crystal. <laughs> Me, myself, and I know. Nope, not Steve Martin. Yeah, it was. Steve Martin is one of them. I'm going to give Kathy 2010 a point for Steve Martin. Almost didn't see that. There was two more. Who were they? Chase was one. Chevy Chase. That's for T. Sharon again. There was one more. Who was it? There was one more. There was Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and who? Martin Short, T. Sharon. Way to go, Sharon. Who sang the song, Susudio? A. Elton John, B. Billy Joel, C. Phil Collins. Who sang the song Susudio? A. Elton John, B. Billy Joel, C. Phil Collins. T. Sharon got it again. It was Phil Ch Collins. C. Ooh, we're losing people. Y'all getting tired? We can tally up points anytime if y'all are getting tired.
what way do most boomers get their news? A, newspaper, B, online news, or C, TV? What way do boomers get their news? Most boomers get their news. A, newspapers, B, online sources, C, TV. T. Sharon, TV. Sharon, you're going to catch up with Shelly here in a minute. Who sings Achy Breaky Heart? <laughs> we all know that. I know, but Shelly come, I mean, uh, what's her name come in first? She, she said the letter of the answer. Shelly Edwards did. Melissa Fron. T. Sharon. See, they got the letter C, and that was the answer C. Which was TV. Cyrus. <laughs> oh, Too Tall Rob showed up. Hey there. Welcome to her chat. We were wondering where you were. And Shelly got it. It was Cyrus. Billy, Billy Ray Cyrus. Who sang on the song Ebony and Ivory with Paul McCartney? Who sang on the song Ebony and Ivory with Paul McCartney? Not Diana Ross. Stevie Wonder, Too Tall Rob. Way to go, Too Tall Rob. What year was the first Woodstock concert? A, 1969. B, 1970. C, 1967. What year was the first Woodstock concert? A, 1969. B, 1970. C, 1967. T. Sharon got it again. She said A. A is the answer. 1969. On what TV show did the first on-screen interracial kiss take place? On what TV show did the first on-screen interracial kiss take place? I'm stuck to my chair, y'all. <laughs> Not all in the family. We couldn't believe what the answer is to this one. Not I love Lucy. This is interracial kiss. Nope. Not different strokes. I never would have guessed it if I hadn't seen the answer on this card. Nope, not Golden Girls. Star Trek, Connie Jones. 
Way to go, Connie. It was Star Trek. What did a school's register book contain? What did a school's register book contain? McBar, hello, welcome. The attendance, Shelly Edwards. In the 60s and 70s, what percentage of homes had milk delivered daily? A, 20%, B, 30%, C, 40%. In the 60s and 70s, what percentage of homes had milk delivered daily? A, 20%, B, 30%, C, 40%. T. Sharon, it was B. Way to go. What African American celebrity kissed Archie Bunker on All in the Family? <laughs> I know I saw your raccoons eating on your banister the other night when I watched your live video. That was pretty cool. Now I know why the donuts are hanging. <laughs> you have a good night. Take care of those critters. Glad you stopped by. What African-American celebrity kissed Archie Bunker on All in the Family? Yeah, have a good night, Rob. Glad you could come stop by. I'll try to catch some more of your videos. Maybe I can catch another live like I did the other night. That was a cool video watching those raccoons eat. <laughs> Sammy Davis, Melissa Fran, got it. What movie featured Patrick Swayze, John Leguizzi Ammo, and Wesley Snipes as drag queens? What was the name of the movie? What movie featured Patrick Swayze, John Leguizzi Ammo, and Wesley Snipes as drag queens. Wong Fu. <laughs> it was two Wong Fu. T. Sharon got it. Way to go, T. Sharon. Now, y'all all to know this. What TV show included characters Rose, Blanche, Dorothy, and Sophia? <clears throat> Golden Girl, Shelley Edwards. 
Way to go, Shelley. Who was the author of Interview with a Vampire? Who was the author of Interview with a Vampire? He had a G-string. <laughs> I don't know anything about a G-string. <laughs> Wes, no, not Wes Craven. Not. Who was the author of Interview with a Vampire? Not Andrews. was a female and rice connie jones got it way to go connie when was smoking banned on commercial airlines a 1950s b 1970s c 1990s when was smoking banned on commercial airlines? A, 1950s, B, 1970s, C, 1990s. Melissa Fryan got it again at C. She was the first one to come up with the letter C. C, what the time is. We'll go about eight more minutes, maybe. Let's see. What actress faked her death in the movie Sleeping with the Enemy? What actress faked her death in the movie Sleeping with the Enemy? I read V.C. Andrews, Flowers in the Attic, and the whole series. Wow, Kathy. Julia Roberts, Shelly Edwards. Way to go, Shelly. What was the church key used for? We had a big discussion on this one one time. What is a church key used for? What was the church key used for? Opening bottles, Connie, yay, Connie. What TV show asked, who shot JR? What TV show asked, who shot JR? Dallas Shelley Edwards. <laughs> A lot of people are coming in with Dallas, but Shelley Edwards came in first. Everybody knows this. What country was Desi Arnaz born in? What country was Desi Arnaz born in? Cuba, Shelly Edwards. Way to go, Shelly. You are just on fire tonight. He was born in Cuba. When a person was out to lunch, what did they mean? And it doesn't mean they're out eating lunch. But if you said a person was out to lunch, what are you saying? 
they're gone. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of gone in the mind, aren't they, Shelly? I'll give it to Shelly. Kind of meant they're off. They're crazy. Unavailable. They're yeah, they're they're out to lunch up there. <laughs> The term gnarly meant what? The term gnarly meant what? It's not at all what I would think that it would mean. Melissa Fran again. Cool. Way to go, Melissa. What are the first names of all members of the Beatles? What are the first name of all of the, the Beatles? It's four of them. What are their names? John, Paul, Ringo, and George. Shelly Edwards got it. Way to go, Shelly. Who did the comedy tour entitled Raw? Who did the comedy tour entitled Raw? R A W. Eddie Murphy, way to go, Melissa. It is Eddie Murphy. He did a comedy tour. If someone is doing the frug, what are they doing? If someone is doing the frug, and it's pronounced frug, F-R-O-O-G. What are they doing? Dancing, T. Sharon. Way to go, Sharon. Whew. What was the first web browser that popularized the internet? Hating frogs. <laughs> Shelly, where did that come from? And there's Teresa Foreman. Welcome, Teresa. Not Google. What was the first web browser that popularized the internet? Not MySpace. Yeah, I see you, Teresa. But T. Sharon came in first with dancing. You came in second. Not AOL. Not Yahoo. We had a discussion on this because I didn't even know this, this one. I never had heard of it. It's the very first web browser that popularized the Internet. It was before Google, before Yahoo, before Windows. Well, I guess it was after Windows, but it, it's not Windows. My memory's fried. <laughs> Mine is too, I think, April. Mosaic. Connie Jones got it. Way to go, Connie. What is a Piggly Wiggly? 
A, a toy, B, a gym, C, a grocery store. What is the Piggly Wiggly? A, a toy, B, a gym, C, a grocery store. Teresa, a store. I think that's the first one for you tonight, Teresa. Way to go, Teresa. <laughs> Who famously bit the head off of a bat? Y'all know that. I know you do. Who famously bit the head off of a bat? Ozzy, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. It was Ozzy. Who won the Country Music Association Female Vocalist of the Year for 1974? A. Loretta Lynn. B. Olivia Newton-John. C. Tanya Tucker. Who won the Country Music Association Female Vocalist of the Year for 1974? A. Loretta Lynn. B. Olivia Newton-John. C. Tanya Tucker. Shelly Edwards got it. It's B. It was Olivia Newton-John. From the 50s to the 80s, children were taught to duck and cover in case of what? From the 50s to the 80s, children were taught to duck and cover in case of what? I'm going to give it to Craig. I mean, he knew it was a nuclear blast, a nuclear bomb. Craig M. Way to go, Craig. Who won Album of the Year at the 1978 Grammys? A. Led Zeppelin, B. Fleetwood Mac, C. Michael Jackson. Who won Album of the Year at the 1978 Grammys? A. Led Zeppelin, B. Fleetwood Mac, C. Michael Jackson. Pause in the garden, got it, it's B. Yay, pause. Now known as a hashtag, what was the symbol called before that? Now known as hashtag, what was the symbol called before that? Pound sign, Melissa Fran got it. Yay, Melissa. It was called the pound sign. Which Beatles said, we're more popular than Jesus? A, Ringo Starr. B, John Lennon. C, Paul McCartney. Which Beatles said we're more popular than Jesus? A, Ringo Starr. B, John Lennon. C, Paul McCartney. B, Shelly Edwards. There is just no stopping Shelly. What TV show was located at the fictional Eastland School, an all-girls boarding school? What TV show was located at the fictional Eastland School, 
an all-girls boarding school. Facts of Life, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. Sonny Bono was congressman for what state? A, Arizona, B, Colorado, C, California. Sonny Bono was a congressman for what state? A, Arizona, B, Colorado, C, California. Shelly Edwards, it was C, California. <laughs> How long we've been doing this? Over two hours now. What was the name of the idolized suburban family in Leave It to Beaver? What was the name of the idolized suburban family in Leave It to Beaver? What was their last name in the show? Cleaver, Teresa Foreman. Way to go, Teresa. When did the Berlin Wall fall? When did the Berlin Wall fall? What year? That's close, Craig, but it was not 1988. It's not 18, 1984. It was not 1988. Craig already guessed that, Teresa. Not 1980. Y'all are so close. 1989. Connie got it. Way to go, Connie. Whoop, whoop, Connie. What percentage of boomers financially support their adult children? A, 20%, B, 40%, C, 60%. What percentage of boomers financially support their adult children? A, 20%, B, 40%, C, 60%. Joanne got it at C. Way to go, Joanne. Evidently, y'all are not getting tired, I guess. <laughs> My father-in-law lived in Berlin, Germany, and I have a piece of the wall. Oh, wow, really? That's neat. I'm sorry, Gladys, but you have a good night if you got to leave us. What TV show is jo Joni Loves Chachi a spinoff of? What TV show is Joni Loves Chachi a spinoff of? Happy days, April. Way to go, April. What do the term pedal pushers refer to? What does the term pedal pushers refer to? <laughs> yes, ma'am, you got a point, April. Pants, pants below the knee, short pants. Melissa was the first one. And I'm going to give a point to Shelly because it, it was below the knee. 
And I'm going to give one to Teresa for short pants. Because it was short pants. I'm making y'all work for this ring tonight. <laughs> True or false? Most boomers have never made a purchase online. True or false? <laughs> Pants won't get caught in the chain. That's true. April flowers, it's false. Way to go, April. Boomers purchase online all the time. <laughs> Okay, well, I better not ask that because it's another fault, two or false. What 50s drawing toy was usually popular with young boomers? What 50s drawing toy was usually popular with young boomers? Yeah, you're up to two points, April. Etch a sketcher, Shelly Edwards. Man, there is just no stopping Shelly tonight. Name the mafia movie starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino. Name the mafia movie starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino. Godfather, Teresa. Way to go, Teresa. This is a true or false. The majority of boomers are Republican. True or false. You had a spirograph? <laughs> I remember all those old toys, the Etch-A-Sketcher, the Spirograph. True or false, the majority of boomers are Republican. Joanne Dooley, it's false. Way to go, Joanne. What is Jed Clampett's catchphrase in the Beverly Hillbillies? What is the famous thing that Jed Clampett said in the Hillbillies? We had a big discussion on this the last time. Not who, doggy. Well, doggy. <laughs> Teresa was the first one that got it completely right, so I got to give it to her. Way to go, Teresa. It was well doggy, not who doggy, not we doggy. It was well doggy or well doggies. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Y'all got so close. What popular disco nightclub was located at 254 West 54th Street in New York? <laughs> and there's Mary D. Hello. What popular disco nightclub was located at 254 West 54th Street in New York? Studio 54, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. I don't have many more cards here in this stack. <laughs> Connie says, April, I love Snoop Dogg, Martha's man. True or false? The mail used to be delivered twice a day. True or false? The mail 
used to be delivered twice a day. True, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. In what movie did Al Pacino say, say hello to my little friend? I love that movie, especially when he got, he said that. In what movie did Al Pacino say, say hello to my little friend? Scarface, T. Sharon, way to go, T. Sharon. <laughs> okay, this is another true or false. Boomers spend more time online than watching TV. True or false? Boomers spend... <laughs> More time online than watching TV. Joanne Dula, way to go. It is true. Boomers spend more time online on the computer than they do watching television. I know because I stay online. I hardly ever turn my TV on. And if I do, it's on YouTube. <laughs> It is on YouTube. Who is the soul of, who is the queen of soul? Y'all all ought to know that. Who is the queen of soul? Aretha Franklin, Shelly Edwards. Way to go, Shelly. What do y'all think about them trying to ban TikTok? You think they'll be able to do it? I advertise on TikTok. I'll post like pictures or really short videos, very short ones of my um, YouTube channel, just advertising my YouTube channel or my Patreon, but I don't really do a lot, you know, videos, full videos or go live or anything on TikTok, but there's a lot of people that are really in an uproar about it. Because <clears throat> a lot of people advertise their businesses through TikTok and they're not happy at all. Hope someone buys it. Forced sell. Well, they say they're trying to ban it from all accounts, you know, from anywhere that you can download it from. The app. Yeah, that's why a lot of people say it's China's toy and we need to get rid of it. But I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a pretty tough question because I, I don't have the answer for it. I mean, it's not going to hurt me one way or the other. I just use it to, uh, like I said, advertise my YouTube channel. And I do watch some of the videos on TikTok just for entertainment, especially the funny videos and stuff, you know, that they have on there. I think they're kind of cute, especially with the little kids and all. They're, they're so cute on TikTok. So is Tim, Tim Yu. Yeah, Tim Yu's pretty good. I've ordered a few things off of there.
In what movie does Clint Eastwood say, go ahead and make my day? Everything in Costco is from China. I don't ever go to Ch uh, Costco. We don't have one here, and I don't drive to Fort Worth and Dallas to go to Costco. So, Well, that's true. Dirty Harry, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. I think we all know this one. John Travolta strutted down the streets of Brooklyn to what Bee Gees song? John Travolta strutted down the streets of Brooklyn to what Bee Gees song? I know we did get a lot of stuff from China. Staying alive, Shelly. Edwards, way to go, Shelly. She's not going to let anybody get ahead of her tonight. <laughs> True or false? Over half of all boomers plan to work past age 65. True or false? Over half of all boomers plan to work past the age of 65. True, Joanne. Way to go, Joanne. What year did the Civil Rights Act pass? A, 1952, B, 1981, C, 1964. What year did the Civil Rights Act pass? A, 1952, B, 1981, C, 1964. Craig M., uh, way to go, Craig, 1964. <clears throat> what cultural icon starred in Rebel Without a Cause? What cultural icon starred in Rebel Without a Cause? Kathy, you leaving us? You had four points, Kathy. You have a good night if you're leaving. Okay. I, uh, Joanne got it. James Dean. Way to go, Joanne. What horror movie caused people to faint and leave the theater in 1973? What horror movie caused people to faint and leave the theater in 1973? Nope, not Jaws. Exorcist, April Flowers. Way to go, April. That brings you up to three. <laughs> It was the exorcist. April got it. Which movie starring John Travolta helped popularize disco music? Which movie starring John Travolta helped popularize disco music? <laughs> whoop, whoop, April. <laughs> 
Saturday Night Fever, Craig M. Way to go, Craig. What popular TV show starred the Fonz? What popular TV show starred the Fonz? I used to watch it all the time. Happy days, Teresa Foreman. Way to go, Teresa. Happy days. <laughs> Y'all ought to know this. What was Skipper's nickname for Gilligan in Gilligan's Island? <coughs> Little buddy, April got it. April Flowers. Way to go, April. <laughs> you got to fill in the blanks on this one. And one word fills all the blanks. And everybody should know it. I'm a blank. He's a blank. She's a blank. We're a blank. Wouldn't you like to be a blank too? <coughs> Pepper, Melissa, Fran, or Fran. <coughs> Way to go, Melissa. <laughs> I said I was going to call it at two and a half. So we got two hours, 28 minutes. So once it hits two and a half completely at 30, I'm going to call it. Because <coughs> I'm already straining my voice a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> What band had a major hit with their 1986 album, Brothers in Arms? <coughs> What's not fair, Craig? I know. I don't know what's got me coughing now. <coughs> Dire Straits, Connie Jones. Way to go, Connie. Super Tramp's biggest albums was Breakfast in where? Super Tramp's biggest album was Breakfast in <coughs> Breakfast in where? Blank. Not Tiffany's. Not bad. I'm giggling because we went through all this before when I asked this question. What is AT? I don't know what you mean by AT. <laughs> Super Tramp's biggest album was Breakfast in Blank. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, this is the last question, y'all. Because <laughs> we've just hit to the 30 point. Nobody knows? Someone Google it at least. Cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> No, but a cheeseburger sounds good right now. I don't know, Mary D says. It's breakfast in America. <laughs> yeah, I just told y'all, T. Sharon. MD said, I looked it up. Well, I told y'all the answer, so I can't give it to anybody. I'm going to tally up the points. <clears throat> T. Sharon has 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. Shelly Edwards has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 38. Melissa has 15, 16. Connie has 10. Craig has 14. Kathy, 2010, had four. Gladys had three. Pause in the Garden had two. Too Tall Rob had one. Teresa Foreman had six. Joanne had five. And April had four. So it's plain to see Shelly Edwards is our winner. She won the ring tonight. Right there. So I'll be getting that ring right out to her. I think I have your address. I'm not sure. Let me look and check. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm not sure, but it sounded familiar. So let me check. Well, I'm not finding it, Shelly. I don't know if I had your address or not. You might have emailed it to me and maybe I didn't write it down. But just for to be safe, go ahead and email your address to my Gmail hauserlinda49 at gmail.com. It's in the description. Because I don't see your address. Write it down that you did win it. So when I get your mailing address, I can send it out to you. I get so many emails and so much is going on all the time that I can't remember whose email I got, whose address I got, and whose I don't most of the time. But it's not a big deal. You can just send it again so I make sure that I do have it. You're welcome, Shelly. And Craig, we play trivia every thursday night or we have been at seven you're more than welcome to join us next thursday night for trivia night see what we give away that night
Yeah, by all means, come back. And I hope Too Tall Rob comes back. Well, that's why we do it. It's fun. It, it's kind of, and you learn stuff too that you don't know or you don't remember. A lot of this stuff I didn't know till I read the answers on the cards. <laughs> Yeah, I, I appreciate every one of you coming out and watching, uh, playing the game and uh, chatting with us and just having a good time. That's all it is. Having a good time and you might win something. You're so welcome, Craig. No, I don't I see no tornadoes yet. It's not even raining, so I don't know if that storm went around us or if it's going to wait and hit during the night or maybe tomorrow i don't know see if i can bring something up but i think we had about 60 percent chance of rain tomorrow i think it was well they changed it to 20 percent today 84 percent tomorrow We got a seventy four percent and eighty two percent chance of rain one a.m. and two two a.m. this morning, and they're still posting severe thunderstorm watch. So, and it shows that we'll have rain for the next two days, eighty three and eighty eight percent chance of rain. Saturday and Sunday. No, Friday and Saturday. So I might be doing cooking shows for the next couple of days <laughs> or some kind of craft. I don't know yet. I was going to go online and do something, but I was afraid to because they've been working on our uh, internet service again. And my internet kept cutting out. There was part of the day I didn't even have service at all well good thank you craig for subscribing and liking my channel i hope you come back yeah my channel covers a lot of stuff gardening cooking what you grow arts and crafts singing trivia it's just a, a fun channel you know it's a family channel we have a good time <laughs> so again i appreciate each and one of you coming and joining chat tonight oh no i've missed you linda i've been sick i haven't been on the internet much i'm so sorry i was sick for the last couple of days it'll probably start raining during the night here probably about 12 one o'clock it'll start raining and hopefully all the bad wind and the bad stuff will stay away. Well, good, Craig. Good to hear that it sounds good to you. So we'll be looking for you next time. And we, we have a live Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. And that's just a chatting time or whatever we decide to do. <laughs> so if you're available Sunday at 3, you're mo more than welcome to join us then as well. Or any other time that I just decide to go live that I don't plan to. I think I hear it raining out there right now. It's just a light rain. But I do hear it. The wind's not blowing though, and that's a good thing. Yeah, we're supposed to get rain for the next two days. Which is good. My garden needs some rain. The more it rains, the less I have to water it. <laughs> and so far, I really haven't had to keep things watered too much. Well, it's good to have you back, Teresa. Craig says, I'm in. Well, good. <laughs> It rained hard, but not now. Well, good, Shelly. 
because everybody needs rain. We just don't need any destruction with it. I got to get me some more karaoke CDs and some more music. Well, anyway, welcome all the newcomers. I'm so happy you came and joined us. Come back again. Everybody come back and see me on my next live. Watch my videos. Share my videos. Tell everybody to watch my videos. Anybody, that, family, friends that haven't subscribed to my, my channel, you know, get them to subscribe and watch my, my videos. That'll help me out tremendously. And I'll see y'all my next one. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye. Love y'all.